Hey, how you doing everybody? This is Gary Bledsoe. And as you already know, um, you know, we're we gonna have a new president. We're gonna have a brand new president. Uh, things are at this point ready to uh, move forward. You know, I'm really ready to move forward. I gotta be very calm about this because I'm so excited. I've been celebrating all weekend, you know, really excited, really happy. And the reason why I'm happy is because finally, we can finally put this nightmare to bed. We can finally get this nightmare out of there. No matter how hard him and his people try to uh, fight, this is gonna be over. But I, I wanna title this. I really, really wanna title this. I wanna title this, The Smallest Voice Is Always Heard the Loudest. Don't ever be, don't ever sleep on that. The smallest voice is always heard the loudest. Check this out. Well, let me tell you what I mean by that. By the smallest voice is always heard the loudest. I remember when this all was going down his first years and I said to myself, like year two, year three, I said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna come back really strong. I'm gonna come back on social media. I'm gonna hit Twitter up. I'm gonna hit up Facebook. I'm gonna hit up Instagram. I'm gonna hit up whatever I gotta do. In my little capacity, and my little following, and my little friends, my little whatever, and I'm gonna do my best to play my part to go out there and vote and make sure that we get the right person in the White House so that way we could get over this COVID thing. We can get over this economic thing. We can get over all this stuff that was going on. So I said to myself that no matter what, I'm always gonna let something be known where my small voice is gonna be heard. It's gonna be heard very loudly. And I wanna first and foremost thank all of the 75 million people out there, the 75 million people out there who voted who voted for change, who voted for life, who voted for hope, who voted for healing. I wanna thank you guys so much for that. And, you know, because we really need a transition. We needed to get out of this nightmare. You know, this guy was just, he was just, he was just so bad for this country, so bad for our democracy, so bad for everybody, for everything that was going on, he's just not the right person. And as you can see by his, his still uh, non-conceding non actions that he still feel the exact same way. But I, I have to say this, and the reason why I'm, I'm doing this video is because I'm very disappointed in the 71 million people who voted for death, who voted for uh, a financial loss, who voted for not the democracy they were supposed to be, who voted to go back into the antebellum time frame in order you know, to keep people oppressed. I'm so disappointed. I remember that first night on, on November 4th that just passed, election night I went to bed so angry so disappointed I'm pretty sure many of you felt the exact same way because we could not believe the amount of people who voted against freedom who voted against the you guys call it first amendment and freedom no the freedom is what you want for you and your colors and your people and your race it was not freedom for everybody it was not freedom for diversification it was not freedom for any of that see a lot of people want to know why did we, the Republicans still, you know, we lost seats in the Congress, we lost seats in the Senate. I mean, not, not lost seats, but we not really got, we, it wasn't a, a blue wave in the Senate like, because we wasn't against the Republicans. This is not, this is America. This is not Republican America. This is not Democratic America. This is America. This is the United States of America. And we were against, not, we were not against each other in blue and red states we were against a racist we were against a homophobe a xenophobe a person who only who who promotes hate who promotes uh who did you know would not take responsibility would not go out there and do the things that he needed to do to help us get out of this pandemic this crisis that we in right now we, we were against this guy the vote of the 75 million people were a vote against him it was not against 
red and blue and, and black and white and, and, and you know minority and my job majority it was not that it was against this guy this guy is what we had to get rid of so that night november 4th i was so disappointed not realizing that everybody kept saying Everybody kept saying that he that he's gonna look like he's winning in the beginning. Why? Because he encouraged people not to do mail-in ballots. He encouraged people not to do mail-in ballots. He told them not to do mail-in ballots. So that way they could go out that night and vote. And that's what they did. They went out that day and voted. So it looked like he was winning. But guess what? Mail-in ballots came in like the Avengers and everybody in Endgame. Just came in through the portal, start coming in. And still, there's still three states that we might lose one of them. But I believe the other two, we're going to be real close and we're going we to win them. And, and, and it's going to look like a powerful victory. So I just want you to know that your small voice can be heard loud, loudly. Your vote can be heard loudly. You see, Ginsburg... John Lewis, they, their spirit jumped into us that on that voting line. Their spirit jumped into us on all of those things that, that we wanted to change. And it pushed us to get out there, to wear our mask, to do what we had to do, to change this country. And it was heard. It was one small voice heard echoing throughout the United States, throughout the world. They heard us over there in Europe, they heard us. And now we just gotta sit tight, take a breath, let Joe Biden, let Kamala go and do what they gotta do. Cause dude, let me tell you something, you going out one way or the other. Cause I guarantee 75 million people ready to get you out if we have to do it physically. We getting you out of there. Because we tired of this. And I'm saying it like that. We tired of this. This is it. It's over. It's finally time for us to exile this guy out of our brain cells. Now it's time for us to heal. It's time for us to move forward. It's time for us to grow. Be so proud of yourself if you're part of that 75 million. And if you're part of that 71 million, we're not mad at you. We're not mad at you. <laughs> Yo, we ain't, Tupac, I ain't mad at you. But you know what? You lost. How can I be mad at you? I can't be mad because you lost. And we won. Love you all. See you at the top. Keep hope alive. Keep healing alive. Wear your mask. Socially distance. Wash your hands until we get through this pandemic. So we can grow and heal our country finally. And go back. And, 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 and final message. Final message. We can never let this happen to us again. We got four years before they try their bull crap again. We, for some people, we got two years, next, next vote. We can't let this ever happen again. We can't let this happen again. That means we got to let our, our small voices be heard. I hope this really helps somebody. Let's go out there and do what we gotta do. See you at the top.